Hello everyone. Welcome to Plum Dust Tutorials. Friends, if you are a regular viewer of my channel, then what you have to do? Yes, you already know it. Yes, you have to hit a like button, share my channel with your friends and families. And if you are completely new, then you have to subscribe my channel. And also tap the bell icon to get regular updates. And if you don't want to miss anything of this video, then you have to watch the video till the end. Friends, in one of my videos of English grammar, I have discussed with you about the different parts of speech in details. And adjective is also one of them. Today, we are going to discuss about the different kinds of adjectives. Because it is very important to know about all the types of adjectives in details. Because these ad types of adjectives frequently comes in different kind of examinations. And it also appears in different kinds of sentences. But although we speak it or although we write it. But we are not much aware about which one is of which type. So it is very important to know. So we are going to discuss about this in detail. If you are a new viewer to this channel. Then you might be confused about the parts of speech. So don't worry, I have given a link in the description box or you might also check the i button at the top where you can find a video of the parts of speech. Without wasting our time, let's start the video. My dear friends, adjective is divided into 8 kinds and these are like this. Number 1 is known as proper adjective. Number 2 is known as adjective of quality. Number 3 is known as adjective of quantity. Number 4 is known as numerical adjective. Fifth one is known as demonstrative adjective. Sixth one is known as distributive adjective. Seventh kind of adjective is known as interrogative adjective. And the last one is known as possessive adjective. Clear? There are eight kinds of adjective and you must know all the kinds of adjectives in detail. Because it is very necessary and it is use in our daily grammar okay now let us discuss each of the kinds of adjectives in detail as we know adjective means qualification or description of a noun or a pronoun so uh, what can be a proper adjective yes proper adjective is very simple it qualifies about a noun or pronoun by a proper name that is known as a proper adjective means it this adjective describes or qualifies about a noun or pronoun by giving a proper name to it you will understand it if i tell you certain examples like he is a chinese traveler here the traveler is a noun and it is qualified by a proper name that is chinese that is a traveler is a chinese person i am an indian so indian is a proper adjective I hope you have understood it. That means a proper name is given to a noun or a pronoun that is known as a proper adjective. Clear? Please uh, mind it properly. You will understand it. And if you have any doubts, you may ask me in the comment box. So, we are clear with the first kind of adjective that is proper adjective. Now, we are going to discuss about the second kind of adjective that is about the adjective of quality. Adjective of quality means what? Which denotes about the quality of a person. Quality that means it may be weak, his weakness, it may be his strength, his power, etc. Person or a thing that is known as adjective of quality. And its examples are Akbar was a great ruler. So here what quality is uh, spoken about of that ruler that he is a so he was a great ruler. Akbar was a great. So his quality is great. So great is an adjective of quality. Is an adjective of quality. Then she is very kind. So here kind is the adjective of quality. It states about the girl. It qualifies about the girl. So this is known as adjective of quality. You can also suggest me different kind of examples in the comment box. Are you clear with the second kind? That is, it describes about the quality of a person. It may be his weakness, it may be his other power, it may be his state of uh, being, all these things. Okay? It may be also about a person also. For example, milk is hot. So, hot is the adjective of quality. Okay? This is the second kind of adjective. Then comes the third kind of adjective that is known as the adjective of quantity an adjective of quantity is what which 
denotes about a quantity of a thing or an idea. That means how much or how many about a thing or an idea is known as a adjective of quantity. Okay. If you follow these examples, you will understand it. I need more money. So more is the amount. It describes the quantity of the money. So this is not the adjective of quantity. Another example, do you have any storybooks? Here also, any is the adjective of quantity because it um, describes about a quantity of books. Not a specific uh, quantity is asked, but if uh, any is, any denotes any, any kind of quantity. Okay, a quantity is denoted through this sentence. So this is known as adjective of quantity. The fourth kind of adjective is known as numeral adjective and it denotes about a number of person or thing. Number, how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 2nd, 3rd, like this. Okay, this is known as the numeral adjective. And um, please follow these two examples. She is the first child of her family. In this sentence, first is a number. So, it is the numeral adjective. Then, second sentence, each of the girls performed well. So, here, each. Each is also a number of the sentence. And it is a numeral adjective. I hope you have understood it. The fifth one is known as demonstrative adjective. Demonstrative adjective means it points out something which person or things are meant. It means straightforwardly we tell something about the person or thing that is known as the uh, demonstrative adjective. For example, this, that, like this. Uh, here I have given two examples. This shirt is mine. So, this particular shirt is mine. So, this is the demonstrative adjective. Secondly, I had such, I hate such kind of misbehavior. Such. Such means you are pointing something. You are mean, uh, pointing some person, some, th some kind of things which are meaning uh, very straightforwardly. That is known as a demonstrative adjective. So, such is the demonstrative adjective in this sentence. Clear? It is very easy. I hope you have understood it. The sixth one is known as distributive adjective, which denotes a person or thing separately. Okay, that is known as demonstrative adjective. For example, each of the children got a mango to eat. That means separately each of the children, one by one each of the children, separately, separately, they got a mango to eat. That is known as distributive adjective. Means it is distributed among the persons, among the people. Okay. Then, neither she is intelligent nor brave. That means, neither is also a distributive adjective. Next one is known as interrogative adjective. And interrogative is a very common word in English grammar. All of you know that interrogative means to interrogate. That means to ask questions. Okay. So, here also interrogative adjective is used before a noun with to ask questions. Okay, for example, which, whose, what, like this. So, here, who is, uh, whose child are you? So, whose is the interrogative adjective? Which is the best profession for me? So, which is the interrogative adjective? I hope you have understood it. Then, the eight, that is the last one, is known as possessive adjective. Possessive adjective means to denote possession. It means yours. Okay, that is known as belongingness, that is known as possession and so possessive adjective is uh, like this. Please follow these examples. You are my cousin. So my, you are my cousin. You are my possession. So that is known as my is the possessive adjective. This is his car. That means this car belongs to him. So his is the possessive adjective. Okay. But here you have to understand, you must note an important thing that there are two differences between possessive adjective and possessive pronoun because in pronoun also we have possessive, the word possessive. So here there are some words which makes most of us confuse all the time. So that is the words like mine, ours, my and mine, our and ours, her and hers, like this. So here we must, we must not get confused that um, in the words like my, our, her are possessive adjective and mine, ours, hers are possessive pronouns. This one also I will discuss in another video in detail. But for today or for this video, for the video of the adjective, you must remember this important thing that the words mine, ours, hers, yours are possessive pronoun and uh, 
words like my, our, her, his are known as possessive adjective. Okay, these were all the details of the eight kind of adjectives and I hope that you will understand it properly. Watch the video not only once but in my regular time so that you can clear your doubts and if you have any other doubts also you may ask me in the question box or you can also email me. I have given my mail id in my channel or you can also ask me in Facebook or Instagram. Okay, thank you.